Judith Boxwell, I'm one of the senior lecturers from Kingston Uni. And what is the importance of storytelling? Well, storytelling is a sort of, I think it's underrated, uh, but a really important way of engaging with, with people and getting people to really want to listen to what you're saying. Um, and, and it's an opportunity to really, I suppose, give the detail and let people join in the excitement of what it is that you want to do. What is a hot point? The hot point is when you get to the bit where you've got everybody hooked. It's like a little hook. <laughs> and, and, and people really um, thinking, oh gosh, you know, what's going to happen next? So you, you've got people on the edge of the seat and, and, and ready to hear more. How important is this when telling a story? Well, what's the point of it? I wouldn't really want to listen to you. <laughs> you're getting thrown on. So it's really understanding, you know, as you're drawing people in, you're taking them in and you're taking them to the hot spot. And that's the place where everybody wants to know, and what happened, and what's next? And that's where you want to get people to. And what is a blocker? Um, a blocker is those people who don't want to give the space and time for the story to be heard. Either because they don't like the fact that you're telling the story, or they want to be sent to stage, or they're not used to you telling the story, or um, they don't think the story is important. And so they will use every single strategy that they can have to change that story that you've got to, to, to give. What are the negative impacts of this, and what are the different techniques that you find effective when trying to prevent or deal with blockers? Well, the negative things is that you think, oh, you know, um, I'm going to give up. On, on actually letting people know whatever this thing is that is important because people don't want to hear it. So you get very deflated. Um, and so actually you keep your story to yourself. And so, you know, this might be a very important story that needs to be, sh to be shared and it's not shared. Um, techniques. Do you know, I think it's something that you have to, to learn. I don't think there's a, uh, first of all, you need, you need to know that it's even happening. So you need to go back and think, you know, does my stories always get blocked? And then once you can see them with blocked, you think, well, in what way are they being blocked? And I guess you have to pick up your technique to know, well, if it's always, you know, that people are, are moving away, you have to decide when is it going to send, tell the story. So you might be telling it, you know, the wrong time when people are just about to leave a meeting. You think, well, actually, I'll, take, I'll tell it at the beginning of the meeting. Or I'll, um, I'll find some space in the meeting, so maybe in a team meeting, so that the story is heard, it's on the agenda. So looking at it, sort of, sort of thinking about what's happening for you and how you can change it. Fab. I remember when I was working on awards as a digital oh, sorry, go on. Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah, uh, okay. Oh, okay. So I remember <laughs> when I was working on awards as a digital coordinator. Um, yes, it was a female. Uh, yes, I do on, on occasion. I was working really? on a female only ward. Um, and one of the. Is it acute or? It was an acute ward. Um, oh, I feel like <laughs> one of the nurses had asked if the lady, one of the other oh, how, how was? Can I ask that you pause with your questions, please? Oh, okay, okay. I'm just trying to get. I appreciate that. If you could answer the questions at the end so I can finish at least my sentence. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So, one of the nurses asked if the clients uh, could have six hours. <laughs>